and as the proton number increases the atomic number increases so this is the periodic table of elements as you know it and as I said this the numbers on top here as you, you the, the numbers you can see are called the, the atomic numbers or the proton numbers because the atomic number is the same as the proton number and uh, so I said hydrogen is 1 helium is 2 lithium 3 beryllium 4 and it keeps going on so uh, we will be discussing the features of the periodic, periodic table uh, later but for now this is what you need to know atomic mass now uh, as I uh, described in one of my previous playlists uh, which was on moles and equations I defined the term relative atomic mass so relative atomic mass is basically the the, the combined mass of the protons and neutrons it's also called the nucleon number the relative atomic mass it's also called the nucleon number but it's the combined mass of the protons and neutrons now as you can see this table the relative mass of a neutron is taken as one atomic mass unit the relative mass of a proton is taken as one atomic mass unit and the relative mass of an electron is taken as 1 over 1836 atomic mass units so you need to remember all these values because um, they, this might come in the examination so remember these values 1 over 1836 a good way to, re uh, to remember this as uh, remember this is 18 into 2 is 36 so 1 over 1836 but, uh, and so you will remember the exact number 18 and 36 because 18 into 2 is 36 so uh, as you can see we do not add the mass of an electron in the atomic mass now you might ask why is that because the overall mass has to be the mass of these three together right so the reason for that is that uh, the mass of an electron is negligible compared to the mass of a proton or a neutron uh, sorry neutron or a proton so uh, you can see over here that this the mass of an electron is really 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 small compared to the mass of neutrons and protons and that's why we we ignore the mass of electrons and when we are taking relative atomic mass we only add the number of protons and neutrons this is also called the nucleon number the nucleon number because it's the sum of the number of protons and neutrons so nucleon uh, this is the, so protons and neutrons are called nucleons because they are in the nucleus and the relative atomic mass number is also called the nucleon number so you need to remember that so for example hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of 1 the hydrogen atom has, the, has a relative atomic mass of 1 because it has one proton in its nucleus and one proton and zero neutrons so one plus zero is one and hence the atomic mass of hydrogen is taken as one unit similarly oxygen has eight protons in its nucleus and eight neutrons so eight plus eight is sixteen so the relative atomic mass of oxygen is taken as sixteen atomic mass units because eight plus eight is sixteen so similarly we can find the atomic mass by adding the number of protons and the number of neutrons sorry yeah so isotopes now uh, isotopes are atoms of the same element with different number of neutrons now I want you to read this very carefully because people often get confused with this uh, let's take an example so carbon as we know has three isotopes okay so carbon, it, one is carbon 12, one is carbon 13, and one is carbon 14. So three isotopes. Now the carbon 12 isotope, it has six protons and six neutrons because so you can see six plus six is equal to 12. The carbon 13 isotope has six protons again but seven neutrons and the carbon 14 isotope has six protons and eight neutrons so you can see that the 
proton number remains the same and that's why the atomic number remains the same and that's why we are on the same element right now.